afternoon and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Welcome back. Uh, I'm sorry if this video is coming up late. I'm sorry I'm not going to be very loud today. Um, I'm on, it's, it's about 2 a.m. right now. I just came back. Nope, that's not it. From a Christmas party, so I was on my best behavior there. And I could not record live reactions. However, we do have a couple great reactions and some segments for you guys because you know that I'm always about that. Thank you so much for tuning in. It means a lot, honestly. Last, the, the road trip was a great success for the Winnipeg Jets and also for this channel. I've noticed a lot of new people tuning in and I appreciate absolutely all of you. Let's get into it. The Winnipeg Jets defeat the Colorado Avalanche six to two. Whole hot diggity damn. Also, somebody at my Christmas party called 7-2, and holy shit, did this game get real interesting when that emptied it in. Um, honestly, there's a lot to say here. Obviously, there's going to be an asterisk, asterisk for some people saying, well, Kale McCarr's out. Well, guess what? Cal Connor's out. We're even ground. We're on even footing. The Jets currently sit first place in the Central. Thank you very much, by the way, St. Louis Blues, for beating the Dallas Stars in overtime. Wish you could have done a new regulation. I digress. Um, honestly, it, it, it's just been it's just been all great. Uh, I will be at the game uh, against the Montreal Canadiens. So if the video comes out late, it's because I have live in the building reactions, which I'm excited about. Uh, although I do not look forward to all of the Habs fans doing it. But let's talk about this game. Honestly. The second line was a big factor here, as well as Gabriel Velarde, but honestly, the whole theme of last game, funnily enough, was um, recent acquisitions. Every new player on the team hit. It was like it was like a parlay that just kept hitting. Nemesnikov goal, two Velarde goals, Ayafalo goal, and a Niederreiter goal. All recent, relatively recent acquisitions of the Winnipeg Jets were contributing and showing up. And you love to see that. Um, I think this team is really something special. I'm getting, I'm getting optimistic here, folks, but I'm feeling something. I feel something different about this team I didn't feel last year. Was last year's team good? Yes. I'd argue this team this year might be better. And they're playing through the struggles and they're making do with it and it's no one singular guy everyone's pulling on the rope and Connor Hellebuck has been playing outstanding hockey he's now had his 11th straight quality start which is insane and he's climbing after a very slow start to the season but you love to see it um, Jets open the scoring. They get two goals in the first. Uh, great to see. Great to see the power plays score, especially the second unit. It's always good to see a second unit goal. It really helps balance out the faith because you know what? You can't always rely on that top unit to score. And it has been struggling on the top unit, especially without Kyle Connor. But the second unit gets it done. Uh, like I said, two goals from Velarde. And I have Fallow finally gets his goal scoring drought fixed up. Um, <laughs> in other news, Pierre Luc Dubois did nothing tonight uh nothing he, he missed he whiffed on a shootout chance <laughs> lol um but yeah no first period's fun second period jets continue pressuring they keep putting up goals they give up two uh total throughout this game i didn't really have a problem with either it happens one's a i think at least one's a power play goal and the other one's like jack johnson it's like cool I'd rather not let Janet Jack Johnson score, but I'm not going to get upset over it. I'm not going to lose sleep. Um, also, let's go through... Oh, right. What time is it? Moose Watch! Oh. It's Moose Watch, my friends. I can't, I can't yell it here. I can't yell it. But, um, so for Moose Watch, so for the Moose... Watch directly, the Moose got spanked. They lost 5-1 uh, about two nights ago to the Norfolk Admiral, or not Norfolk Admirals, Milwaukee Admirals. Norfolk is our team, is our ECHL team, the Milwaukee Admirals. Um, it was ugly. It was an ugly game. However, because, you know what, I, I really, I like doing these segments. The one good story of the Canada is Wyatt Bongiovanni. Wyatt Bongiovanni scored to extend his kind of hot streak over the last little bit. Here's a clip of that right here. He's now shorthanded. 
But on the attack, and they score! Well, Capobianco, a great pass out in front, and why a punch, Giovanni? Um, yes, yes, I'm going to start clip posting AHL clips. <laughs> I figure it's a fun reaction, and you know what? I know sometimes we're light on timestamps when it's games like this where I can't watch, I can't react to it live, but I will make up for it, lads. <laughs> I will make up for it. Carter, what are your... Th oh, no, before we get to Carter's thoughts. Um, World Junior update. It turns out Rucker McGordy is actually going to be for Team USA, so good for him. Uh, great. Also, one other fun thing. Uh, Jacob Julian of the London Knights... Uh, for, uh, fifth round pick of last year who we were kind of a little shaky on because he is an overager as well was lighting up the OHL not long not too long ago I believe he got a four point night with a hat trick which is great to see um, I need to see something from those type of draft picks which were kind of eh, which is good it's good he's showing actually really great development uh, so Rutger, Elias Salmonson, and Fabian Wagner are going to be the three Jets representatives at the World Junior Classic. That's great to see. That is Moose Watch. All right. Now, Carter, what are your thoughts? And this is how you fucking can oh, Come on. Yeah. Good morning, afternoon, and my turn, jackass. Sweet. Get the fuck out of here. Jets with another big win today against the Colorado Avalanche. Holy crap. I wasn't expecting this to go quite the way it did. So Gabriel Velarde keeps up his fantastic performance with this game. I believe he gets two goals tonight. Uh, so excellent performance for Velarde. Was very, very pleased to see that happen. Uh, I'm a little bit under the weather. So uh, I was glad to, like, when you're under the weather, there's not much that you can do. Watching Jets hockey is one of them. So thank goodness we got a win. Uh, I was overall, I was overall pleased by the effort. I, I'm not going to lie, Colorado came out like just flying right out of the gate. And so I was a little bit worried, but the Jets calmed down, got it done. And so it's good to see the Jets being able to perform well without Kyle Connor. So it's one of those things where just hope to keep this up as much as possible. We're back to number one in the division, first in the central. So let's keep that up. Back to Zach. I bet they were very great words of wisdom of a man who watched 100% of the hockey game. Um, but yeah, third period, still, honestly, great. Jets keep pressuring. They they never take their foot off the gas. Um, I think that's important. I think sometimes, while, yes, they gave up a couple goals, they always were outscoring. They they won every period. They won every period of the game, and that was critical. That, that it kept them in the driver's seat, in control. There was never any panic, never ever any, any worry, and you want to see that. I'm looking forward to this homestand because I didn't think this win was going to happen. So I'm going to be honest. I was a little worried about this game. You know, yes, we had a big win on the road in Colorado, but you never know. That I'd argue the win in LA is bigger, and this win is also huge. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and leave a like on the video. Comment down below your thoughts. Who was the MVP of tonight's game? My three stars is Velarde, Ayafalo, who got um, his who finally broke his drought. Um, I'm going to give Vlad Nemestikov the third star of the game, and I'm going to give an honorable mention. Woo! <laughs> you don't need a rider. You got a goal at home. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. One, Nikolai Evers. Chips it through, gets around, and he shoots and scores! What a goal!